What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday! Oh my goodness. So this is gonna be Buster Part 2. What's up Buster? How you doing little dude? Look at this boy over here. He heard me. He heard his calling. Oh my goodness. Anyway, Buster, you're still a secret. Don't give up the secret yet, okay? We have been on an 18 hour journey to pick this little guy up. He's gonna be a surprise for my mom later on tomorrow, later on in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But um, we just got back from an 18 hour trip to South Carolina to pick this guy up, drove back down, and he is about to meet our boys for the very, very first time. So if you guys didn't see our first section to this whole adventure, make sure you guys check it out. It's gonna be linked down in the description. But right now what I'm gonna do is if Chelsea gives me the house key, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna take the boys potty because they have been in here for quite a while and obviously they're gonna need to go potty. So we're gonna take them potty, we're gonna get them situated and then we're gonna bring Buster in. Let's get this house alarm. Boom, Koda, what's up dude? Let's go ahead and turn the lights on. Here we go, yes, 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 we're home. We're home, I'm so sorry. I know you gotta go potty so bad. Come on boys, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta go potty. We gotta go in a really, really bad way. And we're not gonna go inside, right? We're not gonna go potty inside. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Good boys. What do you say we put Buster down outside the glass? All right. And just see what they what they think. Here we go. <laughs> this is gonna be so funny. Good boys. Oh. Oh. They see him. I don't think I can put him down on the ground because he's too short. He won't stand up. <laughs> Oh, what is this, boys? Coda can't see it, it's too small. Coda, what do you think it is? <laughs> oh, his little tail's wagging. Coda just wants you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> yes, I love you too. Here, Coda, look. This is even more exciting, look, though, look. Look what mommy has, be gentle. Be nice. Coda's <laughs> What do you think, dude? Can we talk about this? Koda's upset because I smell like another dog. He has no idea that I'm that there's a dog. dog in your hand. Koda, look. Look up here. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> good boys. Yeah, good boy, Buster. This is such a big world. Look at these huge boxes. What do you think? Oh, he found the teddy bears. The Valentine's teddy bears. <laughs> He's a little, little scared. Doesn't really know what to think. Checking I mean, him out right now. This alone is progress for Coda. We'll Good take boy. Away. Don't, don't be so scared. Do you like toys? No interest in toys yet. Just cuddles? No, just doesn't do it for you? Oh, maybe a little bit. Get it. Get it. <laughs> this is one of the most cuddly dogs I think I've ever met. Oh my gosh, the, the puppy breath is so crazy right now. You're a good boy. I'm trying to get you to like play with the other dogs and stuff, but all you want is me. Here we have the puppy Jaws can. Do you ever just feel like somebody is following you? Everyone, welcome to my world of Cooper. <laughs> he, I'm trying to get him invested with the dogs and all he does is follow me. Literally, everywhere I go, he's just right, right underneath my feet. Look, Cooper's trying to chase him. Cooper wants to meet him, but he's just following me. Everywhere I go. Buster, this just isn't gonna work, dude. Like what, how are we supposed to, Koda's, Koda's trying to get to him too. I, oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Good boy, Buster. Good boy, don't come back to me. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, where can he go now? He's crying. Koopy's like, don't cry, friend. He's going under Koopy's legs. <laughs> Koop, you're a good boy. Good boy, Koopy. You're so patient. Same with the cat episode. Coop is just so patient with all these little animals. It makes me so happy. Oh, there's his tail. Okay, now we've got some interaction going on. I don't know how to, I 
Couple butt sniffs here, couple face licks there. All of a sudden, we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> Gonu will not let him out of his sights. He is so sketched out right now. <laughs> Good boy, Koda. Good boy, Koda. Oh! Oh, Koda move! Open it up, open it up. <laughs> Good boy, there you go. Good boy. That's where we go potty. We made a little airdrop on our way out, but overall we got like 95% of it in the backyards. Can you make it up that step, buddy? Oh, oh, not quite, not quite. You need a little bit of help. Yeah, you need some help here. Here we go. Oh, there you go, dude. Now we were talking about it. I want you guys to leave comments down below. What kinds of videos would you guys like to see with Buster. So obviously he can't be here every single week, but we would like to keep updates with you guys on him as he grows up, as he gets bigger, that sort of thing. We were definitely thinking puppy's first time swimming. Cooper can teach him how, because Cooper's a master swimmer. So we could definitely do that here in the pool. If there's any other ideas you guys have, we were thinking maybe like puppy's first beach day and we have a couple other ideas, but let us know what you guys would like to see for, uh, for like puppy's first time doing whatever or teaching him whatever, or that sort of thing. So. That should be kind of fun. Having family time over here with Coop and the pup. I'll give you guys one guess as to where Coda is. All the way over there. Looking, but not wanting us to know he's looking. Come on, Coda. Come here, bud. Come on over. Good boy. What do you think of this crazy new puppy, dude? What do you, what do you think? Is he really small, but also really scary at the same time? Good boy, Koda. Good. You're laying next to the scary puppy. Oh my goodness, this is so brave of you. Good this oh, puppy oh. literally does not care about you, Koda. <laughs> Was not even looking at you. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm okay. The puppy's not getting me. It's a nice puppy. Yeah, see, you're found. Nope. Now, let's talk about what this sleeping situation is gonna be like tonight. Chelsea, you ready for this? Brand new puppy at home. Sometimes it's great and super easy, like Cooper was. Sometimes not so much. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But um, I am a firm believer in crate training. I think it works absolute wonders. Cooper was crate trained when he was a puppy. He doesn't actually go in a crate anymore, but the things he learned about like potty training and stuff like that was invaluable. Coda obviously still goes in the crate at night. He absolutely loves it and that's his home. We see, we see a lot of people commenting and I, I feel like sometimes it's people who don't really know much about raising dogs. They're like, why do you put him in a cage? That's inhumane, that's not right. He shouldn't have to do that. These places are these guys' homes. Like they, they love it. And obviously, Crocodoodles has started crate training with this little guy here, and we wanna keep that up. So I think what we're gonna do tonight, just because it's more manageable, is we are gonna use this thing here as a crate. This is technically a dog carrier for an airplane, but we got it so that you can easily transport them in the car, or like anything else that my mom needs. So we're gonna give this to her tomorrow. We also have a full blown like metal crate that should fit him even when he's an adult. So we're gonna give her that tomorrow, but we don't wanna like take it out and set it up. And then it's just not as nice to give as a gift. So we're gonna be using this. I think we'll probably put it on our bedside table just so he's not too far away from us. Cause sometimes they can get a little bit of separation anxiety. You don't wanna just go put them in a dark corner by themselves right off the bat. But then he's separated from Cooper. Cooper can't really mess with him. Hopefully he doesn't cry too much and, uh, and we'll see what happens. But uh, I think we're just about ready to go up to bed. He's been playing with toys and messing around and stuff. His personality is starting to come out a little bit. Like I said, last time, especially with the kittens, they started off timid, but by the second day they were crazy. So tomorrow should be a lot of fun. But uh, Chelsea, what do you think? You wanna go upstairs? I think we're all tired. I think we're all tired too. All right, let's head up. Now before we go upstairs, before we go to bed, can anybody here tell me what we have to do. Cooper, Coda, what about dinner? Do you guys want dinner? Yeah, you do. I know you do. And we're gonna feed the little guy too. So uh, this should be interesting. But here we go, boys. We're gonna get some dinner. Good boy, do you like that? He likes his food. Yeah, we've noticed that all day. He was interested in Starbucks. He was interested in when we picked up KFC and stuff like that. He's very food motivated, which is good because that means he's probably going to be pretty easy to train. So we'll, uh, we'll wait and see what happens. Labs are supposed to be really smart. Poodles are very, very smart as well. So 
I've got a feeling, especially with my mom being retired and having a lot of time to be able to spend with him, he's gonna be a pretty smart guy. Now, as a preview to my mom's gift tomorrow, we did get her quite a few other things. So obviously, surprising her with the puppy is the biggest deal, and we have a cool plan for that. But uh, I got her a lot of stuff, like good training treats, like healthy training treats. Got three bags of those. The Art of Raising a Puppy. Got her a brand new book she can read along with, uh, with the stuff that Crockett provided us. We've got um, this pet bed here that goes in his big crate. We've got the little crate, obviously. I don't know if he necessarily needs this yet, but this is one of those slow feeder bowls that really helps with our dog. So I don't know, like when he gets a little bit older, that might be good for him. We got him a little baby Kong. We got him a couple of collars and a leash. And so she's gonna get kind of like a full starting puppy kit. She's not gonna have to worry about anything. It's all gonna be delivered right to her, which is awesome. How's this little guy doing? Cooper's Just, here if he needs help. It's now been how many minutes? At least 15. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still working away. I don't think that slow feeder bowl is going to be a necessity. No. I, I think he's, he's fine. I think he's a pretty slow eater by himself. We found a rope toy here. So he's starting to get more involved with toys. Although we did run around outside with him for like, I don't know, eight laps of the yard or something like that. Almost to the point that he couldn't even stand up anymore because he was so tired, so he should be nice and tired for tonight's sleep. That's a very good spot for you, little buddy. I know you're not going to like it, but we're going to have to try our best to ignore your crying, at least at first. Huh? You're a good boy. It's going to be a nice, comfy spot. We aren't going to sleep for too long. We're just asking for like six to eight hours. That's all we need, all right, buddy? That's all we're asking for. I think you kind of need it too. That's the plan. We'll let you guys know what happens. This one is in need of some heavy cuddles. He has missed us so much over the past couple of days. We've really only been home for a few hours the past like four or five days. So obviously he's missed us a lot and he deserves all of the cuddles <laughs> in the world. Hey, Buster. The minute he falls asleep, he's going to be knocked out after all that running. Absolutely. Hi, buddy. Or I'm gonna end up sleeping like this again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we're gonna see you all in the morning. Good morning, buddy. What's up, Coop? Are you tired? <laughs> did you get woken up a couple times last night? It's all right, we did too. Here's the little one. He's hanging out in bed with us. He actually was really, really, really good though. So he had a 2.30 a.m. wake up, which I think I got on camera for you guys. And then he also had a seven o'clock wake up. I took the 2.30, Chels took the seven, no accidents, nothing. It's just, he cried, we woke up, took him out, and then he cried, honestly, probably for about 15, 20 minutes every time he was put back in the kennel. But after that, he just kind of settled down. You could actually hear it in his voice. Yeah. His barks would get quieter and quieter and you could hear he was giving up. And uh, then he would just stop and he went back to sleep. So honestly, even though nobody wants to get woken up at 2.30 or seven o'clock in the morning, that was easily one of the easiest first nights that I've ever had with a puppy. Most people are not that lucky. So this guy was really, really good. The fact that we had no accidents is really, really impressive. And here we are on a brand new day. Coop, come here. Say hi to the puppy. I'm Look. a little jealous. <laughs> just a little jealous. He's really upset that he's not like laying right next to me and just getting love right now. That's usually his spot. Look at him, he's mad. <laughs> but right now, right now the puppy's in his spot. But yeah, it's a brand new day. We're going to have some fun. We're going to hang out with the boys. We're going to play. We're going to go downstairs and see mm -hmm. Coda and uh, hopefully get to know each other a little bit better. And then uh, we're going to take him over to my mom's. We're going to surprise her and it's going to be an awesome, awesome surprise. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Let's, uh, let's go downstairs and play. Cooper keeps dropping it to Buster and Buster will take it and then oh. Cooper will come take it back. Oh, Coopy. Coopy, get it. No, can't have it. <laughs> get it, She's Buster, like, get hey, it. I like that thing. <laughs> get away, kid. It reminds me of, I hear him talking to puppies in like the Han Solo voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything the light touches, my son, that is our kingdom.
No swimming. Have you ever been on a dock before, Buster? What do you think about this? Don't get too close to the edge. I'm a little bit nervous. That's a long way down for just a little guy. This is cool, right? We're exploring the whole backyard. What about down here? Have you ever seen sand? We're definitely gonna do a first day at the beach with you, but I wanted to show you sand real quick before we leave. So much stuff to check out, huh? The world is just so big for such a little pup. You a good girl. We're getting ready to go to my mom's to have some uh, some nice little birthday dinner. I don't know, what do you guys say? Do we start heading out of here? Do we go give you to your new mommy, your new forever home? She's gonna be so excited. I don't even want to experience the meltdown that's gonna happen. No, I really do, I'm excited. She's been looking for a little guy like him for months and months and months now. And as much as I hate to give him up because he is so, so, so sweet, right Coop? We've been getting along with him better today, huh? We weren't scared of him anymore. He's a good boy. You learned how to play with him and stuff like that. But uh, he's, he's making gonna... a little squeaky. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you guys will definitely, even though this is the last time he's going to be living here, you guys will definitely see a lot more of him on the series. He's going to be kind of like a, a cameo star once every few weeks or something like that. I'm sure we're going to have little updates. But um, anyway, we've got to get out of here. Let's hit the road. About to go down, girl. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. Okay, so we wanted to give you guys a lowdown on how we're gonna do this, because we want it to be a cool surprise. What we're gonna do is every time we pull up to my mom's house, she's usually like really, really right excited there, yeah. to see us. So she like immediately comes out and comes to the car. So I'm basically gonna peel in the driveway, throw it in park, jump out, and I'm gonna have this bag here. So this bag has all of our stuff that we got her, all the stuff that came with the dog and, and from like Crockett and stuff like that is in another bag that we aren't yeah. gonna give her right away. So I'm gonna grab that. We're gonna pretend like Chelsea's on the phone with some work issue or something like that. She's gonna be in in a couple minutes. So we're gonna open this bag up. She's gonna get like the leash and the, the we forgot the crate at home, but she's gonna get like a bunch of little things like that. I'm gonna be like, like I know we haven't been able to find a dog for you yet, but I wanted to make sure you were prepared for when we do finally find one. Cause again, we've been looking for like two months at this point. And she has no clue that Buster is here. So after she gets through the entire bag, I'm gonna be like, wait, Chels, where's the wrapped present or something like that? Like something that like this one other thing that she has. And Chels is gonna be like, oh yeah, I forgot it in the car. So she's gonna go out to the car. She's gonna grab Buster who's here in his little travel carrying case. Don't worry, we're gonna leave the car on with the AC running. He's only gonna be in here for like two minutes, two minutes yeah. but um, she's gonna come back in and my mom's gonna see her walk in with Buster and she, I, I bet she's gonna have a meltdown. I don't know, this should be interesting. So I'm really excited, it should be really good. Here we go. What's up guys and a welcome back to Super Cooper Sunday. This week we have a very, very special episode for you guys and it's gonna be honestly, who knows how many weeks in the making. She has been looking for a puppy for a while. We have not found one yet, but Chelsea and I wanted to give her a nice little birthday surprise here of some things, kind of like a, I don't wanna give it away, but you guys will see. I thought this would be kind of a cool intro to the video. <gasps> oh, quiet time bed. Would be oh. his first dog bed. Oh. It's a little dog bowl. It's like Cooper right. and Coda's. Oh, puppy soft bites. We've got Hopefully some training so treats. I thought this would be good. She loves reading, so I got her, what is it, the art of raising a puppy. You need to, to study up on that. I will. You've I raised plenty of, we've, we've always been a dog family. She, we've always had dogs growing up, but I just figured you could use a little refresher. I could use some help. <gasps> oh, it's so nice. I thought that one was really, really nice. Oh, very it's nice. It's real leather, braided and everything. First bow tie! <laughs> and then finally, whoa, a puppy oh, Kong. What's a puppy Kong? You can put the tree. Oh, you put like peanut butter, butter and stuff in. There. It's like a, they, a brain training kind of. It keeps them busy. Out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wait, Chelsea, did you put the the wrapped one? Oh. The wrapped on. box? Oh, there's one more side. Okay, but we got Yes. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes. Where did you find him? Uh, can I tell her? <laughs> no. Yes. No. We flew to South Carolina yesterday. We were in South Carolina yesterday. We drove home. No. <laughs> no. I'm not going anywhere. Oh my god. No. Look at you. You're kidding me. I don't. So mom, I will tell you, 
This is the sweetest puppy I've ever met. He's, so he's sweet. sweeter than Cooper was he's when he was a my puppy. He's eight hours home. He literally, he he oh. is so, he didn't want anything to do with our boys. Like, he didn't mind them, but he didn't really care about them. All he wanted was to be with people. Hi. He is the sweetest little guy I have oh ever met. God. Did you expect it at all? No. I'm usually pretty bad with surprises. I was worried. When he was getting so serious about like, you can't go look at a dog. I was like, you're going to go. Oh, no. So you, know what, you want to know the kicker? I've been working with them and talking with them for weeks now. Yeah. We've so known you know you how you've been freaking forever. out because you can't find one and you, you don't oh want to wait God. any longer and stuff? When you were texting me about how maybe you should just go look at it while he was in Vegas. And I was like, well, we, are, we already had know. this one lined up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot believe it. He's like, you're leaving me with this lady? <laughs> I love you, Mom. Happy birthday. I know you You really, really, really wanted this. And I know you've been so frustrated. It was so hard to keep this secret from you for so long. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to end it here. I don't like having the camera out and like real moments like this. So we hope you guys enjoyed. Mom, I love you so much. We worked very hard to make this happen, both Chelsea yes. and I. So hopefully this is your forever friend. I'm sure oh he will God. be. We're going to miss him dearly. But uh, you guys will definitely see him in updates. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this super special experience. Now, if you want, we're going to have one more video available over on the official Super Cooper channel. We're going to talk about A, what names my mom might have for him, and B, we're going to show you guys his first time playing with a tennis ball which he's doing right now it's super super cute so if you guys want to go check that out click the uh the little box on screen or the link down in the description we'll see you guys there peace out